recently. On 1st of June, I placed an order on Nursery Life for these things. And it's been one month after that I received those seeds yesterday. So today is 1st of July. So what I did order is this lemon balm hybrid seeds along with this red basil because I wanted these seeds for free so that I can bump up the order amount a bit more so that I can get these seeds for free. So basically I ordered these two seeds basil red. It's basically dark opal basil seeds. That's what I ordered but it's basil red probably does the same. And what I got is this brown color packet seed for free. This desi palak patta. So sorry patta my bad and like couple of them which is kind of the vegetable sorts I'm not interested in this right now I'm more of the herbaceous kind so I have basil seeds and lemon balm what I'm gonna do with this lemon balm seeds is to put into this for cold stratification for for cold stratification only so that it can get the mimicry of frosts if you want more details about these lemon balm seeds growing, you can check out Agir's video. I'm gonna link his video down in the description. He helped me a lot for this. I'm gonna plant these red basil seeds into two distinct kind of environments. One contains only cocoa peat and the other one will contain my garden soil, cocoa peat and nimkhali. So basically for germination, I'm gonna use cocoa peat because it's an inert medium, it doesn't have any nutrients in it and this it's a thumbs up bottle probably it was and it doesn't have any drainage holes so it's only gonna be used while it's germinating and after that I have to remove it so I'm gonna take few seeds motion this top layer of this cocoa peat and plant the seeds and let's see how it goes and also I'm gonna be carving this top with this bottle section so let's see how it goes so now I'm going to take my go-to moisturizer and I'm going to spray it on this top section nice and wet make sure you have to trap the moisture in it so it has to be soaking a lot of moisture so that the seeds get puffed up and absorb the moisture I guess this is gonna be enough because I've already soaked a little bit of water into it. So you can see there is a section where it collected a lot of water and the dry section and it's the wet section again. So I think it's gonna equalize it really good. So let's get the seeds and get it planted. And let's let me flatten it up a bit so that we can see our seeds. Our seeds are gonna make a good contrast to this medium because after puffing it up the basil seeds are gonna like a bit of puffy with a white coating of a flesh kind of like this I don't know exactly why this happens but I'm sure maybe what did I say I forgot okay so forget it and let me plant the seeds now so you can see I have planted the seeds and the seeds are black but this whitish contrast is due to the buffing of the seeds which does because of the intake of the moisture from my watered or I must say moisturized cocoa peat I'm gonna spray a little bit of more water into this until it's empty and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this over the top tighten a bit so that I can pick it up and I'm gonna store it in somewhere dark obviously with a non twisted timeline so I'll be storing my seeds into this container like thing which is actually my drawer and I'm gonna let it rest for about six to seven days and I'm gonna check it after that see ya now I have prepared this potting mix in a plastic container with lots of drainage hole obviously because you're gonna need drainage holes for sure so what we have here is a garden soil and cocoa pit mixture along with few dirts and I've sown some seeds of the red basil dark opal as you can see probably you can it's already I've puffed up a little bit 
and I'm hoping for the best and what I'm gonna do now is tie this up with this rope of this plastic container and prevent the moisture from escaping so I've laid over this plastic over this container and what I'm gonna do is tie it up real quick and let's see the results in about 7 to 12 days now that I've fastened the knots pretty tightly I'm gonna leave it under the sun for about an hour so that I have a good condensation over this plastic and let's keep it in the shade after that for about 7 days or 12 days and I'm gonna update this video next, next time so let's see so as you can see these water droplets have condensed on the top of the plastic and I have kept it under the sunlight for about 2 hours and I don't know how it's gonna turn out but let's hope for the best I have another container here too. 3 days later hello folks here's a quick update of the 3 days so into my potting mix of cocoa peat and water you can see the seeds have already sprouted but the seedlings have got one problem as you can see there's this white fuzzy mold into this probably because of the fact that I watered it a little bit too much and this has no drainage holes that's why you got this fuzzy mold fungus so for that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some ground cinnamon and sprinkle them over this 24 hours later okay so here's a quick update after 24 hours uh, what I did is I removed the cover out of it so that it can get some fresh air and the moisture could escape so I didn't apply cinnamon powder after all and decided to leave it like that as you can see the molds have proceeded a little bit and it looks kind of healthy and you can see it has sprouted really good so there is that I'll update you next time now soil mixture the seeds have already sprouted and seedlings looks pretty good and they are quite healthy it's only been four days and I'm seeing a pretty good results so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait a few days more and let's see how it turns out so here's another update after 16 days more so these plants are about 20 days old now they're thriving like really good even though they don't have this red color into their leaves but they look pretty healthy uh, the absence of red color is because of the fact that there is no much anthocyanins in them probably the light is not that bright to produce them but I guess that it will get in this color back as soon as they get into this garden. So I had to replace them from that old container that contained only cocoa peat. Now this new mixture contains cocoa peat, compost and one part of sand with equal parts basically. So here is another update. I will catch up with the last part soon. So here is our setup in the soil. These are as healthy as the one that are in cocoa peat indoors. So you can see they have got this little violetish or purplish tint on their leaves uh, this is the fact because I have fixed uh, 9 watt LEDs just over them and they get 24 hours of LED as compared to the 18 hours that they get in those so they are also healthy now let's see probably I will update this in the next video as they grow so yeah if you like this video subscribe or maybe like or if you don't like then don't do anything or never mind